So continuation of uh, mass spectrum and ionization energy questions. We discussed uh, the first seven in the last question. Question eight, a sample of element X contain only isotope sulfur. What is the relative atomic mass of element X? And we have to write to three decimal places. So the percentage of the isotope multiplied by its abundance and then the divided by the total sum of the abundance, which will be here 100. So this is mass is there uh, and the percentage. So it is 68.0077. Times 58, or here I can use the space. So 58 is there multiplied by 68.077 plus like percentage, it is a percentage multiplied by its mass. Then, or mass multiplied by percentage, same thing 60 multiplied by 26.223. Then 61 multiplied by 1.140. Then 62 multiplied by 3.634. Then 64 then 64 is there and multiplied by 0 0.926. And then the, the total divided by the sum of the abundance, the percentage of abundance, that will be 100. The total will be divided by 100. So for question eight, we will, when we substitute these values, we'll get, and three decimal places, so B and C cannot be an answer, why? Because it's three significant figure, not three D decimal places. Like after decimal, we should have three numbers. So it can be either A or, uh, D. So when you simplify, it will come out as option A, which is 58.760. How many orbitals are there in total in the first three quantum shells? So in this question, they're asking how many orbitals are there in total three quantum shells? So how to work out this? We have one S. We have one S, then we have two S, two P. Then this two P is the subshell, but they're asking orbitals. Keep in mind, P is the subshell, which consists of three orbitals, P X, two P X, two P Y, two P. Z. So actually, the first shell contain only one orbital, that is S orbital. The second shell contain two subshells, which is S subshell and P subshell. S is only one orbital, but P is actually divided into three, which is Px. Like so, it will be two Px, two Py, two Pz. Then for the third shell, it is 3s, then 3p, and then 3d. And p is divided into 3px will be there, 3py will be there, and 3pz. And d is divided into what? It will be 5dxy, dyz, dzx like and dx square minus y square and dz square. So how many total are there? The first shell contain only one. The second shell contain one, two, three, four. The third shell contain one, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight, and nine. So when we sum, what it will give? It will give 14. That's why D is the right answer. Because they ask orbital. They did not ask subshell. They ask orbital. Orbital means like two, P is the subshell. 
and P consists of three orbitals. One is Px, another one is Py, and the third one is Pz. And the maximum number of electrons in each orbital can be two. Is it uh, clear in discussion nine? Yes, sir. Yes. Feel free to ask your doubt. Like if any question you're not able to understand, just let me know. So I will repeat that. You can use your mic or a chat, even it's okay, fine. You can use a chat if any question you want me to repeat. Another question, a mass spectrum and the ionization energy, which element is in P block and has atoms containing two unpaired electrons? So P block, Lithium cannot be lithium is S block element. It can be carbon, it can be fluorine, it cannot be titanium, which is a D block element. So we are left with two options. We are left with carbon and we are left with fluorine. Now, when we write the electronic configuration for carbon, it is six. Atomic number carbon for carbon is six and fluorine it is nine. So when we write, it will be one S2, two S2, two P, two. So electron in a box model for carbon, this will be 1s, 2s, and 2p is having three orbital, py, 2px, 2py, and 2pz. And this one is 2s, this one is 1s. So first shell it will have two, second shell it will have two, and the third shell it will have Two are there, but first they will occupy singly. So you can clearly see there are two unpaired electrons. That's why option B is the right answer. Why not fluorine? So when we write for fluorine, we have to arrange nine electrons. So how the nine electrons will be arranged? It will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p, because four are there, so 2p5. Then I, if I make electron in a box model for fluorine, 1s, then 2s, and then 2p, x, y, and z. So 1s is, one is having two, one clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise. First, they will occupy singly and then pair up. So you can see one unpaired electron is there in fluorine, where two unpaired electrons are there in carbon. That's why. B is the right answer for this. Question 11, the first five ionization energy of the elements are given. So using the, the successive ionization energy of element, using those ionization energy, you can identify the group. How you can identify the group? If ionization energies are comparable, it means that like you just only double or approximately double or close to double, it means they're in the same period, same uh, shell electrons are removed. But if there's a big jump, it means that electron is removed from another shell. So when we check, five, this is the first ionization, then second ion, approximately three times. Then approximately double, Approximately, like less than double, but approximately. But when you check 2745 change to 11,000, this is a very big jump, a big difference. And due to this very big difference or jump, it means that three electrons belongs to the same last shell and the fourth electron which you remove belongs to inner shell. So this element, it means it belongs to group three. So which, which is the third group, uh, sodium is first, Magnesium is second, aluminum is third, and silicon is fourth. Group L. So C is the right answer that it is aluminum as we remove two electrons from, uh, as we remove that, like the first three ionization energies are comparable. When we remove the fourth electron, that is removed from the inner shell because it's, there's a big jump. Then this question is about the element chlorine. We have to give an electronic configuration of a chlorine atom in a ground state. Chlorine means a ground state means like normal chlorine chlorine atom. Excited state means when it either 
electrons are in a higher level, we call that as excited state. So chlorine is having 17 electrons, so we have to arrange 17, 1 is 2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. So 17 electrons. Write an equation for first ionization of a chlorine, including a state symbol. First ionization means energy needed to remove electron from neutral gaseous atom. So we have a chlorine atom in a gaseous state. We supply energy, we remove electron by supplying energy. So it will form a chlorine ion in a gaseous state, and there will be one electron. Explain the difference in the first ionization of a chlorine and bromine, three marks. So chlorine and bromine, basically they're asking what is the difference of ionization energy as we go down the group. So as we go down the group, the more nuclear, more shells are there, greater shielding effect is there. As a result, greater shielding effect, so less attraction to a, between, or le, uh, like smaller force between the electrons and the nucleus, so it will become easy to remove electron from an atom. So the points which you should mention here, one about uh, chlorine and the bromine. So even though when you check, there is a greater nuclear charge for bromine, like bromine is having more electrons, more protons than chlorine. But the difference is Electrons are far away from the nucleus. As a result, when electrons are far away from the nucleus, there's more inertial electron or a greater shielding effect. So the points which we can add here, bromine, more electron shells, greater shielding effect, So it will have a smaller ionization compared to chlorine. Is it uh, clear, the question? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, and then chlorine occurred naturally as a diatomic molecule. We have to just draw a dot and cross diagram. So we have a chlorine atom dot and cross. So chlorine atom, chlorine belongs to group seven, so it's share one. This chlorine share one, other chlorine will also share one. So unshared will be a three pairs or six electrons will be there. This is a dot and cross diagram for chlorine molecule. Then explain, uh, chlorine is a gas at room temperature and pressure. Explain why chlorine is having a low boiling point. So when you compare the bo boiling point, one is, it is having, like example, it is a simple molecule. So it is having weak force between the molecules. A small amount of energy can break the molecules apart. So it is a simple molecular compound, uh, element, sorry, simple molecular structure. And weak force between the molecules. So small amount of energy can break the force. Then chlorine has two stable isotopes, three is to one. And uh, we have to complete a mass spectrum for our chlorine, a sample of a chlorine, which is having expected molecular ion peaks. So remember the ratio is nine, six, and one. That is one thing. Like one is nine times, another one is six times, another one is one time. Chlorine, chlorine 70 is nine times, chlorine, Chlorine 70 is nine times chlorine uh, molecule. Uh, 72 is six times and chlorine 74 is one time. And we already discussed the reason for that. Like when we take a simplest ratio, if chlorine 35 and 35 are there, that is nine times as compared to chlorine molecule, which is 35 and uh, 37. 
So that will be uh, this is 70, this will be 72. And chlorine molecule, which is 74, is only one. So the relative abundance when you show, like in terms of percentage, it is 9, 6, and 1. You can represent this 9, 6, and 1 in terms of percentage as well. Or you can simply show like 90, 60, and 10 because the ratio will be 9, 6, and 1. So 70, this is 90. 72 is 60. And then 74 is 1. Then suggest why close, uh, suggest why there could be a small peak at 36. Look, what we assume, we assume that we are removing only one electron, like mass to charge ratio. These peaks are M Z M by Z means mass to charge ratio. So if the mass is 72 and the charge is plus two, so 72 divided by plus two, then it will be plus 36, means we'll get a peak at 36 instead of 72. So why, why there might be a peak at 70, uh, 36? Because that shows that the charge of the chlorine molecule is plus two, or the molecule of a chlorine 72, which is having a charge of plus two can give a peak at 36. Is it uh, clear this part? Yes, sir. So these are some questions related to the topic. I have shared this uh, file with you. So solve and submit on the due date. 